To help combat the ever-mutating SARS-CoV-2 virus, we have to have new tools in our tool belt in order to battle it. Now, one of these tools is known as bivalent mRNA vaccine boosters, and they target specific SARS-CoV-2 viruses that have mutated a bit more than the ancestral strain. Now, SARS-CoV-2 has been circulating for more than two years now around the world, and the original mRNA vaccines targeted that outside spike protein to allow our bodies to make it and then elicit immunity against it in case they came in contact with the SARS-CoV-2 virus in the future, they would know what one of those proteins looked like and be able to attack it to help prevent a serious infection. Now, because that virus has been mutating, the spike protein has picked up some mutations. And these mutations are depicted all around that spike protein, so we need to adjust the instructions on the mRNA. Now, the bivalent vaccine boosters actually have two different strands of mRNA in that vaccine. The first strand is just like the original mRNA vaccine that one received, and that targets the ancestral spike protein. But the other, is targeting a mutated form of the spike protein. In this specific case, it's targeting the Omicron-specific SARS-CoV-2 spike protein that has mutated. Now, what's interesting is that these two different mRNA strands are actually in the same vaccine. So they're in two separate lipid nanoparticles and they're within one shot. So you only need to get one shot one booster, but you're actually getting protection against the ancestral and the mutated form. And this is not a new concept. We have used different types of multi-vaccine systems in the past for a variety of different pathogens, some of them being HPV, flu, and more. So this is just another extra tool we have to help combat further infections and decrease the amount of SARS-CoV-2 virus that's spreading across the world.